Hi friends. Have a nice time. Now we are going to discuss about past ancestors. Going into past ancestors, we will see the basic working of NMOS and PMOS transistor. In general, gate of the transistor connect to an input signal and drain to output signal, while source will connect either to VDD or VSS. PMOS transistor is known as pull-up device and NMOS transistor as pull-down device. So, for PMOS, the source will connect to VDD. And for NMOS, the source will connect to VSS. So, if we see the working of PMOS, when the gate voltage is enough to turn on the transistor, we'll pass the VDD connected at source to the drain. Same as like this, in NMOS transistor, when the gate voltage is enough to turn on the transistor, VSS connected to source will get at drain terminal. Now we can say that, for the case of both NMOS and PMOS, under the control of the input signal given to gate terminal, the source voltage will pass to drain terminal. Thus, they are termed as pass transistors. Pass transistor concept is nothing but normal PMOS or NMOS transistors, which passes the signal connected to the source terminal according to the control of the signal connected to gate. Now, we will see the implementation of a function using pass transistor. Here we will take an ARND function. We all know the truth table of ARND gate. The output Y of ARND gate will be 1, only if both inputs A, ARND B, are 1. By seeing the truth table, we can conclude that the output Y is 0. When input A, equal to 0, and the Y is same as B. When A, equal to 1. So we can draw the circuit now. We will make circuit using NMOS. We draw two transistors. Drain of both transistors will make short, and connect to output terminal Y. Gate of the transistor drawn top will be controlled by input air. And the source will connect to input B. Gate of the other transistor will connect to the complement of the input air. We denote as, air bar. And the source will connect to zero, that is ground. Thus we can implement, and gate, using pass transistor NMOS. Pass transistor have some disadvantages. If we consider an NMOS transistor, it's good at passing 0, but poor at passing 1. Because of the threshold drop, the value is VDD minus VTN. Next, if we consider PMOS transistor, it's good at passing 1, but poor at passing 0. Due to the threshold drop, the value will be around VTP. Now we can define pass transistor in another way. When an NMOS or PMOS transistor is used alone as an imperfect switch, we sometimes call it as pass transistor. A brief summary on this. For an NMOS transistor, if gate voltage is zero, there won't be any current flow between source and drain. If gate voltage is one, the input at source will pass to drain. If the source voltage is zero, we will get a proper, strong zero at output. But, if the source voltage is one, we won't get a proper one, it will be degraded one, that is VDD minus VTN. Now the case of PMOS. If gate voltage is one, there won't be current flow between source and drain. If gate voltage is zero, the input at source will pass to drain. If source voltage is one, we will get proper strong one at drain. If source voltage is zero, we won't get proper zero. There will some small voltage, VTP. Thank you for watching. Hope you like the video. Support me by subscribing the channel. I'm expecting your suggestions too. Don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you all.